And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, the story of Frankenstein, written by Mary Shelley and starring Mr. Tracy Harris and Mr. Herb Butterfield. James? Hi, Victor. Hey, you're just in time to give me a hand. Oh, these Indian summers. Hot, too sticky. James, I'd like to talk to you. Well, of course. Anything wrong? Yes. Oh. Well, then, let's go in the house. I'll get you a beer. We can talk. No, uh, not in the house. Do you mind if we just walk? Oh, of course not. Hmm. I get some rain. When's Elizabeth coming home? Tomorrow or Tuesday, I think. James, I... I uh... Oh, look now, we're friends. You know you can speak to me. What's the matter? Did one of your patients die? You made a mistake, perhaps? No, no. Nothing like that. Perhaps it's worse. I'm not sure. Has it anything to do with Elizabeth going away? In a way, yes. Oh. Uh, to my favorite place. You know, Victor... I think up most of my sermons here. Listen, I've been doing an experiment. It's very complicated. I, I'm almost finished. That's wonderful. I think I'm a little afraid of it. I, I don't know. I, I've tried to think it out myself. I can't find the answer. Oh, go on. You've got to promise that you'll never breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you. You have my word. You swear? Oh, I don't usually break my word. I'm sorry. Well, look, I've... I've made something. It's tremendous. It, it's impossible. But I think I've done it. And it goes against everything you believe, James. What? Well, what have you done? I put it together. Heart, brain, nerves, muscle, everything. I, I've done it. Do you understand? A, a complete body. And you're upset because of that? You... You think you've done something wrong? Last night I made it move. I'm not certain, but I think I can give it life. Don't you see why I'm afraid, James? I've created a man. You don't have to see this thing if you don't want to, James. Where is it? In my lab. I'm the only one who has a key. Nobody else ever goes in there. I don't say I believe what you've told me, but how do you know you can make it live? I mean, is it anything more than galvanic action? You'll see. I lock it. I always do. No windows. It's better that way. Now, before I show you, I want to explain. Here, this is what started it. It was mostly an accident. One of the kids brought me his dog. He'd been run over, killed. He wouldn't believe it was dead, and he expected me to bring it back. So I gave it a shot in the heart, then another with this stuff, a compound I fooled with for a long time. Yeah. Well, the dog came back to life just for a moment. How do you know the dog was dead? It was. It had been for two hours. Now, all this happened three years ago. You've been experimenting on things ever since? Yes, that's It's wrong. wrong. I don't know. It's wrong. What are you going to do? Try to bring it to life? I've got to try. If you've known that all the time, why did you come to me? Why are you unsure about it? I wanted to tell you. I had to tell someone. You're my friend. I'm a minister. I preach and believe in the word of God. What about science? One doesn't believe in science. One accepts it as a power given to man by his creator. I'm not arguing, James. I'm only saying that if this thing can live, haven't I accomplished a tremendous work for science? I... I don't know. Do you want to see it? 
No. No, I don't. But I must. Oh, it's not terrible to look at. I've done a pretty good job on it. It isn't quite finished. The face, mostly. <gasps> well? No. No, Victor, bury it. Let it be at peace. Don't do it, even if you can. And I can't imagine it possible. Don't. Don't try. Do you realize what it would mean? I don't want to. Put it to rest, man. Forget it. That's just it. I can't. Not until I find out one way or the other. What are you going to do? Show you what happened last night. I don't want to see. I don't care. I know better. Listen to me, Victor. This mustn't go on. You've got to stop it. Not yet. Not, not until I find out. Does Elizabeth know what you're doing? No. Why did you send her away? I didn't want her here when I made the last test. Because you're ashamed? You know it's wrong. You know what she'd think. Oh, I'm not ashamed. I think I'm a little frightened, huh? This is bigger than anything since the world began. Perhaps that's why I wanted you here. If it moves, if you prove your point to me, will you stop then? Will you destroy it? The formulas, whatever papers you have, destroy all of it, will you? I don't know. Hand me that hypodermic there, will you? No. If I say I believe you, Victor, if... You don't it, have to be afraid of it. It couldn't hurt you, you know. There's only enough of this stuff to stimulate a very small portion of its brain. I'm not afraid of it. I'm afraid for us all. I, I've i never preached to you, Victor, but... It moved its left foot last night, then the right. I'm going to try the arm now. Will you... Oh, move the light over here, will you, please? Thanks. Now, watch carefully. It only takes a few seconds. That's the way it was yesterday. The, the movement only lasts for a moment, though. Well, that's all. I don't know what to say. I don't even think I understand what I've seen, except that it's terrible. Why? Because you don't understand? I'm afraid, if you like. Afraid for you, for what you've done, that thing lying there. You, you've got no right. I won't allow... <gasps> What's that? What, what's what? Listen. Where's my stethoscope? It's impossible. It wasn't enough. It's breathing. Victor, what have you done? The thing's alive. listening to Frankenstein, tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Alert Americans will heed history's lessons. Throughout history, surprise has had a leading role in military disasters. Today, an enemy capable of surprise air attack could leave chaos in his wake. That's why you should be in the Civilian Ground Observer Corps, volunteering a few hours a week to guard our skies. Be a ground observer. Contact your local civilian defense office and join immediately. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Mr. Stacy Harris and Mr. Herb Butterfield, starring in tonight's production of Frankenstein, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. have enough. It couldn't have. Ten cc's. Ten yesterday. Unless the drug's accumulative, maybe that's it. Has it moved again? No. And his eyes are open. 
What are you going to do? Now? Listen to its heart again. It's got to be destroyed. We've got to put an end to it. quiet? It's inhuman. Don't you see what you're doing? You can't give it a soul. You can't... How do you know? How do you know what I can give it? I've given it life, haven't I? It sees, breathes, moves. Perhaps it hears. Yes, I... I wonder, does it hear... Look, did you see that? It blinked, the head jerked. James, it hears, it's aware of sound. Does it feel pain? Don't, don't, it's not an animal. You formed it like a man, give it the dignity of one. I won't let you do that I've to I've gone it. this far. Put down the scalpel. What are you going to prove by that? I think you must be mad. I didn't interfere with your work, I... There's something at the door. Yes, I, I know. Better strap it down on the table. James, you won't forget your promise, will you? I'm sorry I gave you my word. I'm sorry you ever told me about this. I feel I'm as guilty as you are now. James. Hello, Elizabeth. I tried to call you from the station, dear, but the line's out of order. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Did you have a nice time? Lovely. Everybody sends their love. That's good. What a fine pair of sober sides you are. What did you do, darling? Break one of my good dishes? Mm, I knew I shouldn't have left you alone. <laughs> well, what are we all standing in the hall for? Come on, let's Elizabeth, go. Elizabeth, I must be going. Well, it's raining very hard. I'll be all right. Well, then you'll have to take an umbrella. There's one in the kitchen. Are you going to tell her? No. You won't unstrap it from the table, will you? Not yet. I'll try to come back later. I, I, I want to think. About what? You've changed since you came to see me this afternoon. You don't really care what I think now, do you? I suppose not. Thanks anyway, James. Are you going to let it live? Well, that's funny coming from you. Have I the right to kill it? I'll tell you this, Victor. You're doing something you have no right to do. Something that you don't even understand. The creation of man isn't your job. It isn't mine. I know your bright scientific mind's laughing at me. Here's the umbrella, but... James. But I wish you'd wait until the storm blows I over. really must get back. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'll, I'll, I'll return it tomorrow. Uh, goodbye. Well, what's the matter with him? Hmm? Have you been arguing religion again, Victor? Oh, no. No, dear. No. Look, I'm doing a little work in the lab. It's rather important. Do you mind? What is going on, dear? There's something. No, dear. Nothing at all. There isn't. I know there is. What's the matter? I've told you nothing. I've got to get back to work now. Straps. It got up off the table. It broke the straps. It's just standing there, looking at me. What do I do? Talk to it? What do I say? Can it understand I've done it? I've done it. It's almost perfect. Muscular control, coordination. I I wish I'd finished the face, though. But to break those straps, it must be terribly strong, and that's odd. It's not over average size. Well, now what? Can you understand what I say? 
Do you feel any pain? Are you hungry? I'm a man, like you. You are a man. Do you understand? This is a mirror. You can see yourself in it. Look. It's all right. It's all right. It's angry. But it doesn't show anger in its face. There's emotion there, though. It sees ugliness and it's afraid. I'll have to get it back on the table. Put it to sleep. That's the best way. Then use a stronger strap or a chain. His eyes, just staring, seem watery. Oh, what a marvel it is, though. I want you to come over here and sit down. Do you hear me? Come here and sit down. Come here. No, don't touch that. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Put that down! No! 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 Victor. Victor. Darling. Elizabeth. How did you get in here? I heard some noise and came down. The lab door was open. I I locked it. The lock was broken. What's the matter? What's happened? Did you see anyone? No. Did someone break in? Elizabeth, don't ask me any questions. Just do what I ask. Go get your coat. I'm taking you over to James' house. I want you to stay there. Why? Why, what is it, Victor? I can't tell you about it now. You may have to stay there all night. Now hurry, please. We've got to call the police. No, no, James. They'll shoot it. I don't want that. It, it's just frightened, that's all. You're being a fool, Victor. Do you realize what it means, that thing roaming about the country? What about the children? Everybody in the village. I'm going to get the police. No, no. James, please, listen. Give me a chance to find it first. Then week. what? You do a few more experiments? Give it speech, perhaps, and it happens again? It's mine. I made it. I'm not thinking of that now. It's the village and your wife. We don't even know where it is. If it wants to kill, how do you know where it will stop? All right. All right, then. Just give me an hour. Please, James, let me try to find it before we call the police. If I do, I'll, I'll take it back. I'll, I'll destroy it myself. You give me your word? Yes, yes. All right. I'll go with you. Thanks, James. I'll get my rifle. Do you have a gun? Yes, but I'm not going to use it uh, unless... Yes, unless. That's why I'll take mine. I shan't be a moment. It's getting dark. Where do you think it might have gone? That's hard to tell. If it's afraid of thunder, it might be hiding in a barn. That's where I'm heading now. The old Hamilton place? That's right. How are you going to capture it? Have you thought of that? I brought along a hypodermic. You're not afraid anymore, are you? No. It's strange, because I am. Not of what it might do to me, but because of the fact that I've seen it. I I know it exists. Listen. There. The, The dog might have seen it. Sounds as though it's coming from around the Hamilton place. If it is in there, there's no way out the back. It was boarded up, wasn't it? Yes, but it broke out of your lab. Then I'll go in. Wait out here, will you? I'm coming with you. No, no. If it tries to escape, if it does do something to me... 
Shoot it as it comes out. Don't take the chance. It won't let you get near it. I'm going to try. I am afraid. It's somewhere in here, hiding, waiting for me. I am afraid. I should have destroyed it. James was right. Oh, what's the matter with this flashlight? That's better. What was that? There. There in the corner. There it is. I won't hurt you. It's all right. I understand. I won't hurt you. Don't be frightened. It's going to be all right. I don't know. Is is it gone? Yes. Are you... Victor. He never recovered consciousness again. Outside, I looked for the thing I'd shot at, but there was no sign of it. I returned to the lab and burned every paper, destroyed every single evidence of Victor Frankenstein's terrible experiment, but the result of that experiment has never been found, nor have I been able yet to convince the authorities that such a thing ever existed. Suspense, in which Mr. Stacy Harris and Mr. Herb Butterfield starred in tonight's presentation of Frankenstein. Next week, the story of terror in the streets. We call it The Whole Town Sleeping. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Anthony Ellis. Frankenstein was written by Mary Shelley. The music was composed by Lucian Morowick and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Featured in the cast were Vivi Janis and Barney Phillips. Join the FBI in Peace and War Wednesday nights on the CBS Radio Network.